All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with my Pisces on Valentine's Day. What are the messages, please, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces fishies for Valentine's Day? Keep in mind that not all messages will resonate with you guys every single time. Okay, leave it for who it does. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. Thank you guys for your support, your generosity. If you guys would like to donate to the channel, links are in the description box if you guys want a personal reading. I do have a special going on for the next couple days, so feel free to take advantage of that. We got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious, by your religious and spiritual. Oh my gosh. By your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You also have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. <sighs> Give me one more, please. Come on. Okay. And very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So some of you guys may have a soulmate. Or you're calling in a soulmate here. We're calling in your soulmate on the bottom of the deck. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So... Whatever's going on in your love life currently, Pisces, I feel like is influenced by uh, your upbringing or your religious or spiritual path. Um, sometimes, uh, let me see how to word this. Um, have you ever like fallen in love with someone and then realized like, that maybe you guys aren't a great match when it comes to like, you know, either your faith, your religion, your, um, your, your spiritual path, or sometimes you meet someone and you fall in love with someone and you're with them for 10 years and then you grow apart because you're being guided on this type of a journey and the other person is not, or they are going in another different direction or you guys feel like you drew, grew away from one another. Um, that could be what it is here. So if some of you guys feel like you're being pulled away from someone, you could be being called towards someone else that maybe you don't, maybe who is not in your life already. Okay. You could be feeling like you're deceiving yourself in a situation. All right. Tell me more about religious factors for Pisces. What's going on in love? For Pisces. I feel like Spirit's telling you very soon, clearly decide what it is that you truly want. Because I feel like you're calling in a soulmate energy. Or someone who you're going to feel a very deep connection with. Or maybe you already have. Some of you guys are retreating from somebody who you were religious factors or your spiritual path or your upbringing is, you know not in sync I guess tell me more about religious factors three of cups and the five of wands yeah something here there's some type of like internal conflict or conflict with others okay uh, this could be friends this could be um, siblings Sometimes you can even have siblings who, like, don't understand you or, you know, just because they're your brother and or your sister or your cousin or your mother or your father or your best friend from 1989, okay, um, doesn't mean that these people are meant to be on your path. It doesn't mean you have to, like, completely you know, ace them off to the world. I don't even know what that means, but that's what came out. So I wonder what that does mean. Ace them off, cut them out, maybe. <laughs> anyway, I'm making up new Pisces language today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I feel like there's some type of conflict or disagreements. Um, you know, five of wands can also talk about opposing opinions of others. Okay, with this three of cups here, this could be people who are in your inner circle, people you have around you. Um, 
but it's causing some type of conflict or adversity. You know, I lost like a few good fucking friends when, when I start getting on like my path, my journey and getting like, I was always a spiritual person, but I also, you know, I'm religious too at the same time. So, you know, I believe in God and the almighty, the almighty, but, um, Sorry, y'all. I was looking at, like, when I said that. You see this, like, crown-looking thing around her head? <laughs> I was like, almighty. <laughs> Anyways, not trying to be mocking or anything. I realized that came out weird, but that's what I was looking at. Um, Like, the forces of, of a force field. Shit, I got chills. Um. Anyways, I lost, I lost friends, too, who I thought were good friends. And, I mean, it doesn't mean we hate each other. I just don't associate with them anymore because they were you know obviously not meant to be on my path forever um and you'll find that and then you'll open up to new people who are in your wavelength like I can literally go to like the grocery store and some random lady will just like start talking to me and like yep yeah, yeah and just like start talking and I'm just kind of like okay like trying to be nice and then she'll start talking about spiritual stuff. And I'm like, it's almost like spiritual people or, you know, or religious, whatever you are, you know, no shade, you know, faith is faith. Okay. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you believe in, you know, as long as you believe in something, <laughs> but, uh, um, anyways, people will just start talking to me and then I'll realize like they, they're into like the same shit that I'm into or, you know, like recently I just literally went to like volunteer for my daughter's school and some mom was like all talking to me and talking to me and talking to me and talking to me and then she ended up hitting me up and like came over on the weekend and we hung out and she was like into some stuff that you know that I'm into and I was like oh that's weird it's just like once you get into that vibration you call in people who are on that vibration as well without even trying like I don't know I should stop talking, but that's kind of what I see here. So you're going to, you're going to lose some and you're going to gain some, all right, whatever. Show me a retreat. Sometimes it's people that we don't want to lose, you know, like I don't want to lose my best friend that I had since we were younger. And I wouldn't say that like she's lost. It's just once you realize you don't have things in common, we had things in common when we were in our younger years and growing up, but she went off and married somebody of and changed her whole religion and everything and I went along my own path and then when we met again it was like we clashed in that area and so but there's nothing wrong it wasn't really a clash it was just well yeah it was anyways I'm gonna shut up now I'm gonna shut the fuck up all right retreat knight of wands reversed nine of wands reversed and the hanging man. So Pisces, this could be you retreating from people who in your life are flighty, inconsistent. I see you like the Nine of Swords talks about like light at the end of the tunnel, gaining some type of enlightenment. Um, Yeah, I feel like you're just retreating from people who may be flighty or inconsistent or coming in and out of your life. This could also be like a player-like energy. I don't feel like you're even stressed about this because it's like I see you see something differently or you're seeing something from a different perspective, a higher perspective as to why someone may be in your life or, um, yeah, wow. Some of you guys are starting to realize like why certain people have came in and out of your life or why, um, and I feel like it's causing, it's, it's allowing you to be like, okay, I see things from a different perspective. It's causing you to like alleviate whatever stress you had about the situation. Because even then on my journey with, with my friend, I was like hurt that she was like 
trying to deem me for crazy because I was into astrology and shit and she was trying to pick me for like this crazy person and talk a mess about me because I was into like fucking sage sticks and there was spirits in my house that were nice but they were annoying as shit I ain't gonna lie but um yeah she thought I was like because she didn't believe in any of that spirit world realm any of that and I was like how can you not like I'm literally showing you proof of what's going on and like legitimately videos and shit and she was just like no no you're fucking crazy and I was like oh my god like so yeah we clashed but um anyways now I kind of see why considering where I am on my journey now you know I would have been real fucking crazy <laughs> anyways let's move on so many the moon Pisces cancer energy what was that the seven of pentacles in the reverse One more. Hmm. Some of you guys are fearing that you made a bad choice or you wasted time or that could be like something that you're worried about. But yes, a soulmate. Just because it's someone that we talked about this. Just because someone's a soulmate doesn't mean that they're meant to stay in your life forever. They're meant to, you know, help you grow in some form or fashion. Some stay in your life for longer than others. But with the moon, I feel like there's some type of fear of fearing that you made a bad choice. You made a poor investment. You wasted your time on something. You, there could be a little bit of fear of change as well. Um, or fear about making the wrong choice. really very soon again some of you guys just have like someone in your life who could be a soulmate but um, <laughs> four of pentacles in the reverse two of cups it's like once you release something you're gonna meet someone new who I feel like does the eye to eye with you very soon Calling in your soulmate, but there's something here that I feel like you may have been holding on to or that you need to release in order for this to come in. Knight of Swords, yeah. Like this is gonna come in very quick. This is someone who is gonna be consistent, who is gonna be very assertive. Um Some of you guys are also like waking up and realizing that something here Give me one more on this religious factors. I feel like you guys are realizing that judgment, yeah. This is like learning, you know, forgiveness. Some of you guys are like into like holistic medicine practices or herbs and plants and fucking birds and bees and hippie buses and just joking. But like some of you guys are into like some some like natural natural pathy type stuff. Like maybe you guys like to go out and in nature and fucking sing to birds and howl at the moon and, and do shit like that. And I feel like people around you may feel like. People around you may think that, oh, I don't know, there's like something's crazy or you're crazy or they, they have an opposing opinion about whatever it is that whoever you are. And I feel like with judgment being here, it's like you're going to be making a final decision that's best for you and your, your growth. Okay. I feel like you're retreating from people who or inconsistent or flighty or reckless or show-offs or hotheads it's like you're kind of coming to a realization 
that maybe you need to take a step back from certain individuals and you may feel there could be some type of fear of change or you just feel like, you know, um, I've wasted a lot of time or effort or energy or resources and, but the moon is here. So it's like your intuition is calling you to make a choice about something, make a decision, Knight of Swords, to release a situation so that this, you know, you can meet partners or people who are more on your vibration. Calling in your soulmate, please. Page Cups. Okay, so something new, someone new. Four of Cups hmm. and the Emperor calling in your soulmate. Who's this Emperor to Pisces, please? Who's this Emperor to Pisces? Some of you guys, this could be you. Some of you guys could be rejecting someone's offer. Um, damn, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the Justice card, y'all. Libra, Aries, um, strong Aries, Libra, Wheel of Fortune, the Magician. Boy, you're going to have a choice to make here, Pisces. Ten of Cups, the Temperance. Why does this keep coming up in your energy? I mean, obviously, because whatever it is, what it is. But I feel like some of you guys have a choice to make. Um. And it's going to come with like a loss or a disappointment. Maybe that's why I was talking about my friend. Five of Cups and the Star. Like whatever this loss is, this is bringing in something better. Eight of Wands, the Star card. It's bringing in something better. But some of you guys are like procrastinating making this choice or a decision. You know, this Emperor is going to be somebody new coming in for you, Pisces. Aries energy. This is going to be someone who's very protective, loyal. What's this Four of Cups energy? This could also be someone who's had their eye on you, seeing that you've been, like, unhappy or bored or discontent. This person's been waiting to come in, waiting to communicate, waiting to say something to you. Give me one more on that four cups. Oh, no. I said one more. Terrifying the sun and the seven of wands. What was I asking? Shit. Damn it. What did I ask? I think I asked the four cups, the three swords. Oh, okay. Damn, that took me a long time. Okay. <laughs> Some of you guys are in this energy of... Per so, when this person comes... Calling in your soulmate. When this person comes in, Pisces... Uh, you may not be, like, completely healed or open to, to whoever this is. You may be in this energy of trying to protect your heart from like further heartbreak. And so you may want to reject this person, but this is someone they could be waiting and watching you from a distance. Maybe they are waiting for you to like release something energetically so that they can come in. Maybe that's what that is. Oh shit. That's why it says very soon. Clearly decide what you want. 
because this other energy can't come in until you decide what you want. If you're kind of in this energy of like, I don't know if I want to release this person because I don't have anybody else. Okay, fuck that shit. If you know something here, if you know you need to retreat from something or someone who's in and out, someone who's flighty, inconsistent. Give me one more about retreat. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. This is someone who I feel like has caused you like a lot of stress over a long period of time. So some of you guys may like this. Yeah, this is, I'm going to just say that. That'll make sense. This is someone who's caused you a lot of stress over a long period of time. Like this isn't someone who's just like, oh, they skipped out on dinner last week and you're like, all right, fuck them. They're out. You know, this is like someone who has like a repeat offender. But you may fear some type of change because this is like you, I'm going to get off this reading, but this is like, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're in this energy of like, this is my soulmate, even though your intuition may be telling you to retreat, but there's some type of fear of change because of all the time, the energy that was re that was invested. You feel like something here was a waste of time or you're just throwing something away. But it's like you need to make a judgment call. People do that shit all the time, man. I see it so, so, so much. Like people that like stay in situations because it works, but they're really not happy there. Or they're fucking miserable for that matter, some of you. But anyways, I'm going to get off this. There's someone new here, and I feel like when this person... This person could be waiting. They're waiting for you to release something so that they can come in. Like I feel like this is a secret admirer. This person's been watching you from a distance. This is someone who's very strong, very authoritative, a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be, but it could be a father, a mother, a boss, or somebody who's you know very strong-willed, empowered. They want to come in with this Ace of Cups. But you may have your heart blocked off to this person. I feel like you have a lot of love to give with this ace or with this queen of cups here. You're someone who's very nurturing, empathic, intuitive. Okay, but you may have your heart blocked off because of some type of heartbreak that you've already been through or something that you know you're going through, I guess. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope that this message resonated for someone out there. If it did, let me know by hitting that <laughs> hitting that thumbs up. I was about to say, hitting that smash, that smashing thumbs up. Okay, smash the thumbs up, y'all. I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all in the next video. Oopsies. <laughs>